Over the last 14 years, the Demon Energy D1NZ National Drifting Championship has crowned eight kings, champions of the world's fastest growing motorsport. Now in its 14th season, more than 60 drivers across two classes line up for their chance at glory as some of the world's best drifters battle door to door for the most prestigious prize in Australasian drifting. You know, it's it's coming leaps and bounds every year. Um, the builds that are coming out are just getting crazier and crazier. Yeah, the the level just keeps going up and up and up, and it's it's insane. It's it's really cool. I, I love being a part of it, and and the fact that we've got these international guys coming over, a lot of the Aussie boys. It's it's awesome for our sport. Oh, the bar of D1 has just been lifted massively in the last few years. It just continues to grow with the live stream and social media, and a lot of guys, international guys, respected and come down here to compete. Yeah, the level of driving has definitely stepped it up. I like driving against the drivers from out of our country and um, with, with a lot of experience, you know. Definitely, we, we've got to be doing something right for these drivers to come over here and want to play with us. More people that I talk to out there like, oh, mate, I've seen you on TV. Wow, that, that, that drifting stuff is just phenomenal. They just can't believe it. And then people are just gobsmacked with the car control. And I keep coming back, you know, and I just look at our tracks, our traveling, and even the quality of vehicles here in New Zealand. It blows my mind, you know. That's why I'm so passionate about just trying to make what we have here into something bigger and better. Welcome to the show, it's round one of the Demon Energy D1NZ Drifting Championship Series from Forsyth Bar Stadium in Dunedin. Yes, we've got an action-packed show bringing all the highlights for the first ever indoor drifting event in the Southern Hemisphere. Well, it's a brand new season, new cars, new drivers and a clean slate for the championship title fight. Let's check out some of the top guns competing in the Pro Series for 2017. D1NZ's continually stepping up the game um, and I think that this first round coming up is going to really show the world what, what we're made of. Team DMNZ's Drew Donovan and Jody Verhels are one of many two-car teams lining up in this year's series alongside fellow Tauranga base Team DSR. Yeah, both, uh, both Adam and I and Team DSR are, are really going to push for some, some you know, podium finishes and, and really challenge for the championship. It's likewise for the Marshall brothers from the far north who return in refreshed cars. A man who needs no introduction, two-time champion Fanger Dan returns with a new look, Holden VF Commodore. As much as we want to win, we're, we're, we're having lots of fun. Whether we win a championship or whether we're in the top five or something like that, you know, um, we're going to be happy. Signing on with this and New Zealand is 2015 champion Darren Kelly. His brand new R35 GTR, two years in the making. A lot of development in this car and it's all custom made, everything, the steering, the winters in the back is all stuff that isn't just bolt in so it's taken a long time but you've got to be realistic, there's a lot of good drivers out there and um, it's always a battle to the end with, with all these guys. Circuit racing veteran Danem Templeman, another top driver to feature with a fresh car from last season. I guess with a new car you have fine tuning issues and we had one at every single round but all in all we're pretty happy and it gives us a really good package coming into this year's championship. After rewriting the history books last season, the people's champion Nico Reid keeping a relaxed outlook for 2017. Try to bring their showmanship back into the sport, you know, it's, it's, it's quite hard now, it's a real competitive out there and um, just try to bring the fun back into it I guess, you know, and, um, all day we always want to win but um, hey it's not everything eh. After taking third place behind Nico in last year's title race, Cole Armstrong is hungry for a championship title. You know, I've been fifth, I've been seventh, I've been third. We want that number one and hey, I think we can reach it with the team that we got and, and uh, if I keep that level head, we'll hopefully get that goal.
Well, it's time now to take a peek inside the judges' box for round one. A wealth of experience in our judging lineup for 2017. Yes, that's right, Steve. D1NZ veteran Brendan Dunker returns as a line judge. A new face to the team is Dan Mackey, based out of Sydney, Australia. 15 years with the sport, our angle judge for the season. D1NZ pro sport driver and former BMX competitor Cole Jackways returns as style judge for the 2017 season. And it's a 35-35-30 split across the three judges from forming a total score of 100. Well, taking us for a hot lap around the custom-built course here at Forsyth Bar Stadium is Australian international Michael Prosnick behind the wheel of the Toyota's Galore GT86. It's a tight, technical, fast course off the line. The fresh concrete surface, though, will be a handful for these teams and drivers. Car setup and grip levels will be crucial. These judges are asking for a big outside line with the rear of the car close to the walls, three outside zones to start the course. And out of turn two, and into the technical midsection, another outside clip for the drivers to hit on the right-hand side. They need to hang as wide as possible, driving back around the first inside clipping zone on the left-hand side of the course. Very important left-hand zone here. The drivers really need to fill that zone and be accurate with the driving because it's got to set them up through to a tight section here. The transition, the judges are asking for speed over angle on the second inside clip. A quick and precise layout through to the last inside zone on the left before powering back out to finish the loop. That's right, Kenny. Out of zones to finish the course. Full power, full noise and plenty of smoke. Penalties for the round are fairly straightforward. A wheel off is a points deduction. Two wheels off track will result in a zero score. Straight lines and spins will also knock you out of contention. Corrections always scored in real time. Battle proximity under the D1NZ rulebook will see the chase car aiming for the rear quarter of the lead car, using it as a mobile clipping point throughout the course. The lead car has to set a qualifying line. It's up to the chase car to match or better that performance. And of course, diving and shortcuts will result in penalties. Well, that's how the business is done here. Stick around for more Demon Energy D1NZ action coming up right after the break. Welcome back, you're watching the Demon Energy D1NZ Drifting Championship highlights from round one at Forsyth Bar Stadium in Dunedin. Round one for the Pro Championship and it was also the opening round for the Pro Sport Development class. The rookies and the privateers, the veterans mixing it all up. A sold out field of 40 cars line up for this year's series and as predicted, the concrete gauntlet in Dunedin was a car bender. A top 32 saw plenty of fiberglass and panel damage. Series newcomer Callum Neeson having a tough day in the A31 Sephiro. Series regular Michael Forley was another in the wars in a C33 Laurel ending up in the gravel. Well, battling for third place for the weekend was top qualifier Cody Pullen Burry up against the second place qualifier Blair Ribble Boring. Two fantastic young drivers coming through the ranks. It was perhaps a slight advantage to Cody in the first pass. Blair's V8 powered JWB Group S14 leading out Cody's six cylinder 2JZ powered S15. A tight battle from both these guys, but unfortunately, it will be a big mistake for Cody. The K Spec Fabrications S15 taking a spin after the last inside zone. Blair Gribble Byron grabbing the win and third place on the podium. The final battle for round one of the Pro Sport class was a fight of the veterans Kyle Jackways and the Colton's Motors 180 SX up against Bruce Tannock, double stinting his Pro Class Achilles Radial Nissan S13. Bruce Tannock of course having to compete on a smaller tyre, the Pro Class is restricted to the 235 radials, no semi-slicks or nitrous oxide setups allowed in this series. Another good battle here from both of these guys going OMT twice before the judges could not separate the two drivers after three battles. It was Jack Ways in the Colton's Motors 180SX taking victory, first blood for the Pro Sport Series. It's 
It's awesome, man. Just being up on the top step of, well, I guess, the final of Pro Sport. It's wicked to have three ridiculously close battles with Bruce. Um, we get on pretty good outside of drifting as well, so it's awesome to be sitting here banging doors with each other. So, nah, it's been awesome. Hamilton's Kyle Jackways takes out the win for the Pro Sport Series opener. A big bag of points locked away for the perfect start of the season. Championship points for the opening round. Bruce Tannock coming home in second. Blair Gribble Byring in third. The best of the V8s. Domination, though, by the Turbos for Pro Sport. Well, time now to check out some of the best qualifying for the opening round of the Pro Championship. And like the Pro Sport class, the track here at Forsyth Bar Stadium was serving up plenty of drama. Making a D1 NZ return, Joel Patterson was one of the first to clip the barriers in qualifying. A super tough day in the office for Dylan Woolhouse in the NZKW RX7, trying to get used to a brand new car. Jake Hakaraya making a one-off appearance in the Nixon Tyres C35. Ben Wilkinson not afraid of the concrete in the Pack and Save Botany Downs Nissan S15. It was also a tough day in the office for Team DSR. Adam Davies and Dave Steadman sharing the Mimico S14 after mechanical dramas. Series veteran Brad Smith easily took home the biggest stack of the night, tagging the wall in the final section off into the plastic barriers. At the top of the field, it was Cole Armstrong on form, the V Energy Nissan 250GT qualifying in third place. With a massive committed entry, it was two time champ Fang and Dan grabbing provisional pole for much of the session. The Century Batteries hold him, qualifying in second place. In the end, it was none other than Michael Prosnick taking out pole position in the 2JZ-powered Toyota's Galore GT86. Fresh from taking out the King of Asia Championship, the Australian International was in top form, securing a 90.5 pass, a smooth, fluid lap, earning him top spot. were good enough to let us drive their uh, Toyota's Galore 86 and uh, it's feeling really good. Competition here is really good. Uh, the boys know the, they know their cars, they're well built, good drivers, so it's going to be hard but um, we're here to push and, and go from there. So Prosnick grabs pole position in the Toyota 2JZ from Dan Woolhouse, the best of the V8s, Armstrong in third, Marshall in fourth, Nico Reed rounding out the top five. Well, 2017 brings a new top 24 format for the pro class, which sees the top eight qualifiers through to the top 16. This means the rest of the field need to battle for the last eight spots in the main event. First up was Joel Patterson returning to D1NZ in a new car up against Tom Marshall in the Evergreen Tyres Nissan S15. Patterson hitting the wall, an early exit for the Vehicle Imports Direct R32 Skyline. Milwaukee Tool Sylvia driver Drew Donovan squared off with Dylan Warhouse in the new NZKW RX7. A big hit with the wall though, knocked him out of the top 24. Gaz Grove in the CMP construction Nissan S15 took out on Jody Verholst in the Milwaukee Tools Toyota Supra. The V8 unable to shake off the 2JZ Turbo. Verhulst grabbing victory through into the top 16. Former Drift South champion Joel Counter took on Pro Series rookie Raymond Robinson. The Green Machine firing offline into the barriers, handing an easy victory to Joel in the Achilles Radials S14. Big Ray Drift in the S14 looking a little worse for wear. One of the fan favourites of the weekend was former Pro Sports Series champion Vincent Langhorn, the privateer in the Nissan C33 Laurel, the street legal machine, making the trip down from Auckland to Dunedin for the competition. Unfortunately though, a love tap with the wall with not Vinny out of the top 24, Stu Baker in the privateer Nissan S13 grabbing the win.
while two of the Nissan RB heavyweights, Darren Kelly, in his new R35 GTR, up against Benji Wilkinson in the Pack and Safe S15. Contact with the lead car would upset the chances of Wilkinson moving through. Darren Kelly advancing through into the top 16. The final battle of the top 24 was a scrap between Jacob Hakaraya, 2JZ, Nixon Tyre, C35 Laurel, up against Troy Jenkins, then the Brian Roberts towing Nissan S15. Hakaraya making a meal of his chase run, handing an easy victory to the former pro sport champion. Jenkins through to the top 16. Stick around after the break, it's highlights of the pro championship top 16. Welcome back to the Demon Energy D1NZ Drifting Championship. You're watching highlights from round one, Forsyth Bar Stadium in Dunedin. It's time to see the best of the top 16. Help Holstead and Michael Prosnick through to the top 16 against Tom Marshall. Phil Sutherland lines up against Drew Donovan, Joe Marshall and Jody Verhoff, Nico Reed and Joel Counter. On the right-hand side of the tree, it's Fanger Dan up against Stu Baker, Aussie International, Matty Hill up against Darren Kelly, Cole Armstrong and Dave Steadman, Troy Jenkins taking on Dana Templeman. <laughs> First up in the top 16, Australian Michael Prosnick up against Tom Marshall, the Toyotas galore, 2JZ powered GT86, leading out the Evergreen Tyres Nissan S15. Nissan versus Toyota, although it's Toyota 2JZ engine powering both of these cars. Unfortunately for Team ATJ's Tom Marshall, there were too many corrections in his chase run. A huge advantage to Michael Prosnick in the lead. The Australian going through to the top eight. A battle of the V8s, Drew Donovan in the Milwaukee Tools Nissan S15 up against Phil Sutherland in the Drains and Developments Nissan S14. The ex-gas wider Alice 7 machine up against the Alice 2 of Donny D. Phil Sutherland unable to shake off the committed chase run from Drew. Sticking to the rear quarter of the lead car and securing victory into the top eight. Drew Donovan's partner and teammate Jody Verhulst, Team DMNZ, the Milwaukee Tools GT86 Supra, going up against Joe Marshall in the Evergreen Tyres Nissan 180SX. Marshall based out of Kirikiri in the far north, looking for team redemption after his brother Tom was knocked out by Prosnick. This is for a spot in the top eight. Unfortunately though, it all went wrong for Marshall, a big error causing a straight line that would put an end to his run. Jody Verhulst, nowhere to go. Link ECU replay with Marshall at fault in the lead. It was victory for the Milwaukee Tool Supra. Verholst through to the top eight. V8 versus Turbo. Former Drift South champion Joel Counter in the Achilles Radial S14. Up against former Development Series champion Nico Reed. The Evergreen Tyres Nissan S15 fending off a hard charge from the V8 in behind. It was shallow lines though from Joel Counter, false proximity, which is not what the judges wanted to see. Joel Counter trying to keep the commitment in chase, but it's not the required line. Too many errors, too many mistakes. Nico Reed taking victory through into the top eight. A battle that surprised many. Stuart Baker in with a chance at taking out a giant in the top 16. He took a spin though, a zero score in his lead run, but so too did Fanger Dan in the Century Batteries Holden Commodore with a decent hit on the wall at the second outer zone. Now a big hit with the wall like that is deemed two wheels off by the judges. The battle resulting in a zero-zero score, forcing a one more time. 
quick patch up of the damage on Fanger Dan's car before the one more time battle. Fanger Dan taking the lead as the higher qualifier and it was the lead lap where he earned his points. The Century Batteries VF Holden Commodore taking victory over the Privateer 1.5 JZ powered S13 of Stu Baker. Fanger Dan through to the top eight. Another Trans-Tasman battle saw Australian Matty Hill return to the D1NZ in his former's performance, 2JZ powered S15. Up against brand new Nissan R35 GTR of Darren Kelly. Classic 2JZ versus RB Clash, the 750 horsepower GTR though was on form straight out of the workshop. No test day for Darren Kelly ahead of the season and Matty Hill, the Australian international putting on a fantastic lead run. While well, it was a good lead run from the Australian, it all came apart in the second pass. Matty Hill making contact with a second outer zone, upsetting the car and handing an easy victory to Darren Kelly in the Nissan R35. The final battle of the top 16, two of the Tauranga based drivers, both RB pilots, Cole Armstrong taking on Dave Steedman. Plenty of limiter, plenty of throttle, both drivers looking strong in their first pass. Steedman spitting flames in the Mimico Max Mufflers S14. The lead run didn't hold together at the second outer zone, though Armstrong narrowly avoiding the lead car. Onboard replay, thanks to Link ECU, we're riding with Cole Armstrong. Absolutely nowhere to go. Although finishing their battle without a scratch would be a sensational win for the V Energy 250 GT Skyline. Well, that's highlights of the top 16 done and dusted. Coming up on the next show, though, is plenty of action in the top eight. Yes, Kenny, through to the top eight will be Michael Prosnick up against Drew Donovan. Jody Verhulst will take on Nico Reed. Fanger Dan and Darren Kelly battle of the Giants. And Cole Armstrong and Dane and Templeman in the mix. Two of the top big horsepower turbos. Be sure to tune in next week as we battle down to the podium. Full coverage of the top eight from round one of the Demon Energy D1NZ Drifting Championship at Forsyth Bar Stadium in Dunedin. See you next time, and for more information about the series, visit d1nz.com.